Well, hello, hello, beautiful people. It's your girl, Shy Bibia, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thanks for stopping by and hitting that play button. And like I like to say, the universe just has a way of putting us in the right place at the right time. So with that said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well. That way, whenever I post a new video, you'll be the first to know. video I'm gonna be talking to you about what's in my notary bag some of these items may be you know obvious uh, to you some of these items may not be so obvious but I'm gonna be sharing with you some of the things that you definitely should have as a mobile notary loan signing agent okay I'm gonna just get right into it okay now first things first most states require a a notary journal okay you definitely want a notary journal as a mobile notary okay as a notary overall and even if your state does not require a journal I strongly advise to still have a journal okay for your protection just in case something happens and you need to go back to track you know who you notarize documents for you know you know their ID information you have their fingerprint and all of that so I strongly strongly suggest a journal not only just a journal but a really good journal now this is a hard copy journal okay I like to do my research and I definitely did my research on this one um, there's a lot of different uh, notary journals out there some of them uh, the cover is like flimsy and all of this but this is a sturdy journal it looks professional classy you know all of that good stuff and what I love about it is it has um, you can get up to 380 uh, journal entries, okay, in this journal, all right? So I absolutely love it. And when you're getting a notary journal, make sure that you look, do your research as to how it looks really because like for this one, for example, it doesn't go straight across. So there's some notary journals that goes, it goes straight across and that's kind of like a waste of uh, space. But this one, you know each journal entry is you know it's it's per it's per page it has as you can see the date the time um the type of notarial let me see if you can see i don't know if you can see it but i'm probably gonna you know put a picture or something but it has like the date the time um the id information uh where the, the person can print their name uh where they can also put their their thumbprint in that that section there um, so it's great it has all the necessary the important and required feels that you definitely need as a notary signing agent so I definitely recommend this journal I'm going to link everything that I'm gonna be talking to you guys about um, in the description below or I'm gonna try my best to but this I got this off Amazon I believe and uh, I definitely strongly recommend this hardcover okay do your research because I when I did my research a lot of the journals some of them people were complaining that it was too flimsy and it's just not professional to have um, you know your your pages falling out especially with people's important information ID information signature fingerprint stuff like that so you want a good journal that is going to last for a while Okay. Talking about fingerprint, the next thing that you want to have as a notary or a mobile notary signing agent is the fingerprint pad. Okay, now this one here is a is the QP T pad, um, or it's an inkless fingerprint pad. If you can see it here, now this is absolutely great because it's not. Um, ink okay it's basically ink like able to use this you are authorized to use this FBI's use this banks use this um, and other you know agencies use these uh, ink pads so it is less it's less messy than regular um, ink pads so these are great because it's just small I think I bought a pack of I think three or six or something like that but I know that once I ran out of this I have a couple more and it was not expensive again I'll also leave it uh, in the link below in the description below so that you guys can check it out but as an order signing agent you definitely want an ink pad I love these because it's quick and easy to use 
um it is not that messy at all so you know it's just quick and easy simple and it's very small so it does not take up a lot of space okay so yeah all you need is just this small little thing right here and you're good to go also it's not permanent it's not you know like regular inks where it's like leaving a stain or anything like that or it gets super miss messy um so yeah you definitely want to get yourself one of these versus like the ink ones that is a lot more messy okay this is a lot cleaner um and it's just easy to carry around you can you know throw it in your pocket or something like that so definitely get one of these uh inkless fingerprint Pads. okay now though that is an inkless pad it still you know leaves some type of residue on your fingers okay or your signers fingers so you definitely want something to remove the the residue from from the fingerprint or from the finger so you definitely that brings us to the next thing that you want to have some type of wipes okay some type of sanitary wipes you know cleansing towel or something like that handy so as soon as your sign as soon as they uh, you know do the fingerprint then you have this right away I usually by the time that they you know are done signing I have this open so that they can grab a wipe and you know it's just it makes you look prepared and um, just professional and not only that like nobody wants the documents messed up you know by the residue that's left on the signers fingers or anything like that so nobody likes mess okay so you definitely want to have some wipes handy now the next thing that you want to have as a notary signing agent are these signing stickers okay these let me tell you these are <laughs> these can be a lifesaver okay these are lifesavers um i can tell you this let me tell you a quick story okay just just yesterday i did a loan signing and um it was a quite a bit of documents so i didn't bother to put like the sticky notes on all of them i tried to put the sticky notes on just like a few of the documents that that is easy is easier to be missed and so long story short you know i like to double check my work and all of that so i double checked while i was at the signing so once we finished signing all the documents and everything i usually say you know just give me a few minutes to go over the documents because i want to make sure that i'm not missing signatures you know and you know we did have to go back and do uh, i think one or two signatures that was missing so that's another thing too that's why you definitely want to make sure that you go back and check your work so that was that came back home and I like to double and triple check when I come back home because I would hate to send documents and signatures are missing or something like that. You know, the loan company, they may have to redo the entire signing or something. It all depends on, you know, what was missing. If it was your, um, your notary seal or, you know, something like that, or, you know, you get a fee deducted from your pay and you definitely don't want that. Right? So, Anyway, um, I came back home, I double checked the documents, and lo and behold, um, there was a page, a signature missing, okay? And it did not have, I usually do this, but it did not have one of these sticky notes. Um, so I had to call the signer last night, or early this morning, I believe, to try to coordinate to meet back with him to, you know, sign uh, that paperwork so that I can go ahead and mail the document. And honestly, I rather find the fault prior to mailing the documents because it's, you know, it's worse to mail the documents with missing signatures than to have the signatures missing, realize that you have it missing and then just go back, you know, to the client. Um, nobody wants to go back to the client anyway. That's why it's, it's good to double and triple check if you can while you're at the signing okay but anyway these definitely this definitely helps you to not miss um signature spots especially where it's kind of hard some documents are harder to see um where where to sign like this particular document it was a mortgage refinance so um some places it wasn't as obvious okay so these will definitely help you these are um sign here stickers it has different um 
different colors and then this here is the the notarized notarized hair stickers you can get these off of amazon as well um but the, let me tell you these are really 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 good to have and as a notary signing agent you definitely want some type of stickers to guide you so once you get your documents what i like to do is once i print the documents i you know look over the documents get myself familiarized with the documents and then i go through the documents page by page and um i like to put these sticky notes you know where necessary or um you know so forth so definitely get yourself some sticky notes i said sticky notes but i meant sign here stickers okay but to the next thing you also definitely want some sign here not sign here stickers but some sticky notes you can never have enough of these i have a whole bunch of these okay and it works out handy okay as a notary signing agent if you're just starting out you may not you may not think so or see the purpose of it but trust me along the way you will see that these sticky notes come in handy so like today i had to go back okay <laughs> to um get that paperwork signed and so because i took that paperwork from you know was in the mix of those the loan documents i used you know the sticky note and put write down what document um, i would put this in the middle of you know what document is missing and i'll just put this in between uh the paperwork so once I go through the paper, the paperwork, to put back that um, document that was missing, I know exactly where it goes and I know exactly what document goes there. Also, sometimes you're in the middle of a signing and uh, the signer may have a few questions. You want to just jot those down before you call um, the, the, the mortgage company or a title company or whosoever so that you have everything here so that you're not forgetting anything and so that you're not having to call them um, multiple times okay uh, you just want to save yourself time and it's just more professional you don't want to be calling them you know three and four times you want to write down everything so that when you call the title company you have everything you know jotted down um, these just come in super handy I mean you're gonna need these okay so you just definitely want to get yourself some sticky notes all right now to the obvious thing that you need as a notary signing agent is a stamp you definitely need a stamp now they have all types of different types of stamps they have the stamps where i don't remember what they call it all in one that yeah that all in one uh stamp so you have those so you have all types of different stamps but uh you can get your stamp anywhere from the nna um i believe amazon has stamps as well you can uh, basically customize your stamp based on your state and you know the required information that needs to be on your stamp you can do it at staples i mean there's so many different um websites and other websites that specialize in notary supplies that you can just order your order and customize your stamp so you definitely need a stamp uh in your notary bag because nothing is gonna get notarized if you don't have a stamp okay so you definitely want to get yourself a stamp this may be a bit trivial but if you have one of these stamps you have to be careful when you buy it just make sure that just double check to see whether or not it comes with the actual ink pad um, if it does not, then you have to go ahead and buy the ink pad, okay? Um, and here you go. That's the one that I actually have. I'm actually going to, because before I was used to using the one that the all-in-one where the ink pad is, you know, with the stamp. So I'm actually, in a bit, I'm actually going to go ahead and purchase that versus me having to, it's kind of annoying, honestly, guys, <laughs> to have to um, stamp this and then stamp that. So I'm going to go ahead and get those stamps that you just, you literally, you put on the, the document, whatever you're signing, and you just press it down and you're good to go. You don't have to worry about, you know, two separate things. So if you get anything like this, just make sure that you also have an ink pad to go with. The next thing that you want to have as a notary signing agent are pens, 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 pens. You can never have enough pens. Make sure that you have blue ink and also black ink pens, okay? Uh, you're gonna find that some, um, some signing companies or some title companies, they prefer one color over the other, okay? And you have to make sure that you also read the instructions because some may definitely want documents to be signed in blue ink some may want it to be signed in black ink you know some companies it really doesn't matter 
either or, but you definitely want to make sure that you're adhering to um, what ink pen that title company or mortgage company they want you to sign uh, the document in. So definitely make sure that you have, you know, tons of black ink and blue ink handy. Okay. Um, you can never have too many pens. Okay. So just make sure you can go to the dollar store. Okay. You can get packs of pens for a whole dollar at the dollar store all right so um yeah definitely get some pen also just make sure that you keep it in your notary bag you know all these items make sure that you know you just keep it in your notary bag so that way you know when you have those last minute signings you're not scrambling to grab stuff and then you know you're going to end up forgetting something so definitely you want to keep all these items in your notary bag at all Time. okay now the next thing you want to have is a flashlight okay and I know some of you guys are probably like why do you need a flashlight or you can use your phone's flashlight listen you never know what situation you're going to end up in okay you never know if you're gonna end up at some back of the bush place okay you know you have some customers or some <laughs> signers that live back of the bush somewhere um, like the, the signing that I did yesterday like there was like no light you know um, and uh, even when I got to their house they were their house is like all the way back just all the way somewhere okay so you never know and in addition to that you never know if you're gonna just you're gonna be in the middle of a signing and you never know the electricity may go out okay <laughs> or the signer may just not have electricity at all you just never know okay you, you want to have a flashlight because you just never know um, where you're gonna end up um, you know what's gonna happen all of that and um, you know with your phone situation it's just easier to have I believe uh, quicker to use a flashlight than to try to unlock your phone and all of that and what if your battery dies you know so you definitely want to be prepared um, you know for the most part you may not use this that much but it's gonna come in handy one day and you're gonna wish that you have a flashlight okay so get a small flashlight you know get an inexpensive small flashlight you know you never know you just never know now, this is especially for my female notaries okay you definitely want to have a pepper spray all right you definitely want to have um, a pepper spray because again you just never know and you want to be you know prepared you know you want to be equipped you want to be able to defend yourself okay so definitely get a pepper spray um, you can get it um, on Amazon as well you know uh, they have some really inexpensive ones so definitely get yourself a pepper spray all right you need to be protecting yourself out here okay you never know it's a crazy world it's a crazy world that we live in so definitely get yourself prepared and get yourself a pepper spray the next thing that you want to have is you want to have a stapler okay now this is a really cute stapler I actually got it um, I believe I bought it from Staples and the reason why is because um, the price was really inexpensive I think it was like four dollars or something like that um, it was ridiculous the price was ridiculous I don't remember I think they had like a, a sale or something like that and uh, the reason why I bought it too because I love the color it's like a gold and white color so it goes with my office decor so for four dollars uh, two-day shipping I think it was something crazier than that I think it was like the same day or something like that for four dollars and it goes with my office decor I was like yes honey I'm getting it so but anyway <laughs> you definitely want to get yourself a stapler and not one of those flimsy um, dollar ones just because you may end up having to staple documents uh, up to maybe like 30 or I don't know maybe 15 documents sometimes for the most part based on my experience so far at a time but I believe this stapler can staple up to about uh, 30 pages um, per staple so you want something like that okay um, you're gonna find that you're not really going to uh, have to use a stapler while you're at a signing like that not really um, the signer may you know need to uh, staple something and it's good to have one handy a lot of times the notarial certificate itself you know sometimes it's attached to other documents and that's when you you need to use this stapler but you know a lot of times we end up we're you know putting the packages together once we're at home before we mail it out but 
um, you still definitely want it because I know a lot of notaries that you know they do stuff like in their car like you know on the go and all of that so you definitely want a good a decent stapler okay so stapler and um, obviously extra like staple uh, yeah you can get this off of Amazon as well or staples okay so again I'll definitely link it in the description below Okay, now these paper clip thingies, they come in really, really handy. Like even a while ago, I just dropped off a, a document packet and it was about like 98 pages or something. Um, it was great to just be able to use one of these to put it together. This is a jumbo one. Um, I bought, I think, I bought a good bit. I don't know how I got it so cheap, but it was from Amazon, Amazon Basics. Honestly, that was, it was really cheap. So I'm gonna link it below. Um, but I got like the jumbo one, I got some small ones for like a ridiculous price. Um, but these definitely come in handy because when you're sending off large packets like that, instead of just having the paper, you know, the documents just loose, you can, you know, um, put it together with one of these. So these are really, really helpful, really, really great to have. Uh, in addition to these, um, I got some jumbo, jumbo pa paper clips as well. Can you see it? I have a whole pack here from Amazon Basics. Actually, I think I have, I bought a, a huge thing off. I think it was like 10 packs of this. And each of this, I think it's like a hundred. I don't know if you can see that, but it comes with a hundred, a hundred paper clips, okay? So I think I probably have like a thousand in total. So this is gonna last me a long time. And I have to say that I think it, it was definitely way less than like $10 or something like that. Don't quote me on that, but I believe it was, you know, close to that. Um, you definitely want to get yourself paper clips. It comes in super handy when you're trying to organize documents. It's just more professional, okay? So you definitely want to get your hands on some of these. And I strongly recommend Amazon Basics just because it's so cheap, okay? By the way, did I mention that this video is not a sponsored video? This video is not a sponsored video, okay? Um, <laughs> also, this you can definitely you definitely want some of these. It's really good to have to um, have the documents in some type of file jacket versus just having the documents out because then the edges get all you know wrinkled um, and the documents can potentially rip. So you want to have some of these. I think these were from Amazon Basics as well because it was super cheap. Okay, these um, I have some other regular ones, but these are the ones that is great for like if you have like a mini like file cabinet, or, you know, um, you can just hang it. So that's why I bought uh, these ones. So you definitely want um, file jackets or folders because that way you can keep the your paperwork in these folders versus just walking around with it, especially if you're taking the documents from, you know, the signer's house to, you know, FedEx or something, you don't wanna just have the paperwork just out like that. Um, and again, it just overall protects the documents. So these paper file jackets are super good and really inexpensive to have. So yeah, you definitely want to have these as well in your notary bag. By the way, I forgot to talk about the actual bag, okay? Um, this year, I'm just using a um, a Case Logic. Um, honestly, this is my husband's bag. Um, he was using it for work and he's working from home right now. So I kind of, I'm borrowing it. So, <laughs> but eventually I'm probably gonna get one of those um, the suitcase like bags okay so that way it's not like if i have a lot of paperwork and stuff like that um you know it won't be too heavy to carry but i'm just using one of these and you can just use one of these bags as well as long as it you know it's enough space and as long as it can fit legal size paper you want to keep that in mind um this bag uh, it it does the job y'all it does the job you know I have a se separate pocket here so I keep like my stamps and pens and stuff like that and then I keep my actual documents um, in here so um, to start out you don't need a you know too fancy too expensive type of bag just start out with what you have just make sure to test it out and just make sure that it can fit legal size documents okay and that's pretty much it you don't need anything fancy to start but I'm about to get fancy though, okay? Because when all these loan signings start coming in, honey, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get myself a, a good, uh, solid 
type of bag suitcase draw bag because my business is growing y'all you know it's growing and it's just gonna keep growing so that means I'm gonna need I need to make room for more documents so that bag is not gonna do for a long time it does the job now but you know in due time I'm gonna get myself a bigger bag that I can um, you know pull and all of that so yeah definitely get yourself um, a good bag that can fit a uh, legal size document all right y'all those are all the essential items that a notary loan signing agent should always have in their bags okay you definitely want to consider all of these items that I mentioned again I will leave it in the description below for you okay by the way if you liked this video if this video was helpful for you don't forget to um, give this video a thumbs up and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well that way I know that you guys want to see more content like this okay and I will keep it coming okay because sharing is caring all right so again thank you guys so much for watching if you watch to the end again it's your girl Shai Bivia it was an absolute pleasure let's go get those loan signings together and I'll see you guys later be blessed